Hello everybody and welcome to this Counter-Strike Source tutorial thing. Now this isn't for beginners, this is for people who have played the game, they're alright, they want to get better. And I'll show you how to using some interesting tips, not just, oh, strafe, because everyone knows that's boring. First of all, you've got to configure your mouse. Seeing as that's the thing that you're going to shoot people with, you've got to get it set up properly. So go to your Start menu, Control Panel, switch to Classic Category View if you haven't already, Double click on the thing called mouse, which is available when you have classic category view. Go to the third thing along called pointer options and disable enhanced pointer precision because it's bad, it's evil. You've got to disable it or you won't be able to aim properly. Trust me, it's weird at first, but you'll get used to it. So disable that and then go into Counter-Strike Source and do the same thing again. In Counter-Strike Source, in the mouse menu, it's called mouse filter. Disable it, it's evil. Once that's disabled, you can then aim where you want to instead of the computer guessing for you. Reverse mouse or not, it doesn't matter. It's what you're used to. It's probably best, best to be good at non-inverted because that's what you do in Operation Flashpoint and, and desktop stuff. As for sensitivity, it doesn't matter as long as you can shoot where you want to. So as you can see here, I'm shooting between two objects and I'm hitting it pretty much every time. That means I've configured my mouse properly. If you try, you know, you go between two barrels and try and shoot them and you're going like this, it's not going far enough, you need to set your sensitivity higher on your mouse. Like this. If you do it and you're firing too far, you've got to set down the sensitivity a bit. And you keep doing this until you hit it every time. This is good for flick shots with orps and it makes you better at the game. As for the sensitivity of the mouse itself, it doesn't matter as long as you're used to it. That's what matters. Crosshair setup doesn't really matter, but if you want to change the scale, this is how you do it. First of all, go to your options menu, go to keyboard, advanced, and enable developer console. That means that when you press this button on your keyboard, yeah, the console button, this comes up and you can type in things like CL, crosshair scale, and then the number that you want. I have a high number so that it's a small crosshair and I can see past it. Translucent doesn't matter that much, it just means you can see through it a bit better. That's probably better, so I just have it. Don't get me started on frame rates. You've got to have a high frame rate to play properly. To see what your frame rate is, go into the console and type in net underscore graph 3. It comes up with this small menu here in the bottom right of your screen. You can type net graph 0 to get rid of it. And you can see the frames per second that your game is running at. If it's 60 or more, that is fine. Below that, and it starts to get a bit more difficult to play, below 30 or 40, it gets quite difficult to play. Uh, run this benchmark, you can see it on the options menu of Counter-Strike Source, and you can see your average frames per second. If it's stuck at 60, then you're either recording with fraps, or you have vertical sync enabled. Disable it in the video options menu of Counter-Strike Source. Click advanced here, and it comes up with the advanced video settings. Disable the ones in the bottom group first, the anti-aliasing, filtering mode, and high dynamic range. These will slow down your computer a lot more. This will boost your frame rate a lot. The ones in the higher categories are quite obvious as to what they do, but they're not quite as important to turn down unless you're desperate. You can also try making your resolution a bit lower because that has quite a big impact, especially on computers without a graphics card. Color correction doesn't matter that much because I've only ever seen one map with it enabled. Here's a quick lowdown on what all the features do. It's not very detailed. Okay, if you must know, color correction makes it so that when you walk into different bits of the map, it changes the colors of everything. It's quite interesting. I might do a tutorial on it sometime. This is with HDR and this is without HDR. I suggest you disable it because it gives you a higher frame rate and it makes it easier to see people. So this is Counter-Strike Source on high detail. This is Counter-Strike Source on low detail. As you can see, if you zoom in on the far wall, the text is blurry and low detail, low res, whatever. And on this one, you can see a lot more detail. This is because anisotropic filtering is up and the texture detail. The difference between low and high resolution, if you look at this one, you can see the uh, steps going down from each pixel. What's on the high quality version, you can't. That's about it, really. 
delay, ping, lag, choke, whatever you want to call it. It's the time that it takes for information to go from your computer to the server and back again. A thousand ping is one second. Uh, here you can see 33, that means it's a 33 tick server. 66 and 100 mean that it's different tick servers again. Choke, if it's not zero then it's bad and it means that you're losing information so it's not getting to the server. Uh, some pros go, oh, you've got to play on 100 tick servers. In my opinion, a good 66 tick server is fine. I'll now hand you over to the other me. No. Now run up here. No, 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 sorry, just run up the You don't even have to look. Stop. Now, as you can see here, there are two computers set up to the same LAN. There's no ping between them because they're on a really fast LAN. Now my sister is going to press the crouch button and you can see the delay, crouch. As you can see, there's a bit of delay between when she presses the crouch button and when the person crouches on the screen. Keep going. Up and down, up and down. So all those times I thought I was teabagging someone. I wasn't because I was kind of going like that. But it looks like I'm standing still. So remember, if you want to crouch, hold it down. And that's why you sometimes get headshot from behind crates. Right, stand there, Helen. I'm going to fuck no, behind the crate. Ugh. Now, I'm going to fire just as she presses the crouch button. Crouch. There. So she's pressed the crouch button, but I can still headshot her. So remember, crouch before you have to. And let's just play a bit and kill you. In your C strike folder, there's a little folder inside called CFG. And these are all the little configs which set up how your Counter-Strike plays. I've made one called autoexec.cfg. If you right click on it and click open with and then choose notepad, you can open it up as if it's a notepad file because it is really. And inside you can you can do different commands. I've got ones where I press certain buttons and they buy different weapons. You can also do binds to say stuff when you press a button. So if you type bind space h space and then in double inverted commas you type say yes that bind will mean that when you press h you will say yes in counter strike source how good is that it's easy to add to and when you when you're finished doing all your binds you click save as make sure it's called auto exec save as type all files and put a .cfg at the end of its name. Save and it'll work in the game. As well as stupid little binds like that, I've got ones which allow me to buy weapons just by hitting a key on the keyboard. So at the beginning of the rounds I just hammer my keypad and I buy all these weapons like M4A1s and Deagles and Orps and stuff like that. It's very easy, it allows you to run away from spawn as soon as the round starts instead of having to fumble through the buy menu. It's a lot faster. All the pros use it, because they're pro. Oh, 400, I'm going to have to make another video now. No. Run, Helen, run, run. Oh, 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 teabag. Oh, wait, there. So remember, crouch for a while. Duh!